Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you're doing amazing. But before we get started, what do we always love to do? Yes, we love to pray. All right, so let's close our eyes and pray. God, we thank you for today. Thank you for the beautiful weather that is outside. Thank you for our wonderful spring break. And thank you for allowing us to be together one more time. It's in your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. You guys sounded amazing as always. So, Chloe says it's carpet time. Carpet time. Carpet time. Chloe says it's carpet time. Come on in. Sit down. Stacy Singa. And we are having carpet time. So how was your spring break? Is it going just the way you imagined? Or are you having fun? Are you on the beach? Have you been to the pool? Are you enjoying the weather outside? Have you seen your family members or friends? Your grandparents or your uncles or aunts, have you seen them on your spring break? Tell me all about it. I would love to hear it. But I also want to know, how was the Easter egg extravaganza? Did you guys get a lot of wonderful things inside? I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed seeing you all. Did anybody get the golden egg? Anybody give the golden egg? Was there a gift inside? Was there a note? I don't know, because I don't know who had it or who got them. I haven't got any phone calls. Did you enjoy your books? Did you read any of them? Have you started reading any of them? <sighs> Goodness gracious, it was amazing. It was wonderful. Tell me what your favorite part of it was. What did you love most about it? What did you like? How could we improve? What did you want to see that you didn't see? I don't know, just tell me. So we can make it better for the next time. Make some improvements or add some, take some away or just keep it the same. Well, I th thought it was a beautiful um, day. It was a wonderful time to, to be alive and to see all of y'all doing so well and the smiling faces that you guys displayed and the happiness that you brought. Oh, it was joy to my heart. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So let's, yes, he's already starting already. Let's meditate for at least two minutes. So let's close our eyes and come to center. Close our eyes and come to center. So we're going to breathe in, light and love, and release the light and love into the world. Breathe in, light and love, and release it. One more time, big. Breathe in light and love, peace, joy, and happiness, and release light and love and peace and joy and happiness and come to center. Okay, let's close our eyes and focus on the circle inside the darkness as it changes colors from green to pink to purple to blue to back to pink to a little bit of red. In the darkness, there is light, there is love, there is peace, there's happiness and there's joy. You only have to look deep inside because all of those things reside inside of us. Do you hear the water falling? Is it calming your nerves down, helping
helping you to focus and to concentrate as you come to center. Can you hear your heartbeat? Can you feel your heartbeat? So let's have an attitude of gratitude about ourselves. Thank you for my hair and my head, my eyes and my ears my nose and my mouth, my voice and my tongue, my throat and my schnick. I thank you for my shoulders and my arms, my elbows, wrists, and hands. I thank you for my torso, for my heart that beats so lovely. I thank you for my breath, for my hips, and for my legs, and thighs, knees, ankles, and feet. I thank you for my toes and my fingers. I thank you for me. I thank you for who I am and who I can be. I thank you for the love that I have to give that's inside of me, that lives and dwells and has its being. I love to love, to be loved, and to show love, to give love, and to experience love. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving yourself where you can put your name, so I'll use my name. Thank you for loving Stacy. Stacy, I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are wonderfully made. All the great and wonderful things about you I love, and all of the things that are not so great, that need to, need to be improved, I love you. I love every part of you, every part of you, every part of you. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent. I love Stacy. I love me. And I thank me for being me. Just the way I am. I love all of me. Did you put your name in those spots, I hope? that you're grateful with the attitude of gratitude of loving you, because how can you love the world if you don't love yourself? So let's just relax and concentrate on the circle as we calm our breathing down, as our heartbeat slows down some. As our minds and our thoughts come to a place of understanding, a place of remembering, and a place of peace, love, joy, happiness. I feel the peace the love, the joy, and the happiness. As the water falls down, I can feel myself at peace. I can feel myself with joy. As the water is calming, I feel more relaxed and more centered than ever before. Keep your mind focused on the center circle in the darkness. There is light. So I thank you for the light that shines so brightly inside of me. So, with that being said, 
we will count backwards from five to one and we will open our eyes. Five, as we enjoy the sound of our heartbeat. Four, as we hear the sound of our heartbeat. Three, as our mind comes to focus on what it is we're supposed to be focusing on, the circle starts to change colors. From red to green to purple to yellow to orange to pink to blue to green. Back to red, back to orange. Two. A wonderful job <clears throat> I'm so proud of you I don't know what to do I hope that as we are on spring break I'm not on spring break but I feel like I'm on spring break with you guys that we practice our two promises do you remember our two promises this is the perfect time to really practice on our two promises and the two promises are, I vow to develop understanding in order to live peacefully with people, animals, plants, and minerals. I vow to develop understanding in order to live peacefully with people, animals, plants, and minerals. Please work on that one. And the second one is, I promise to, to develop a compassion in order to protect the lives of people, animals, plants, and minerals. Okay? I vow to develop my compassion in order to protect the lives of people, animals, plants, and minerals. Now that the pollen has fallen, and you might be doing a little sneezing, and your eyes might be itchy, and you might feel a little bit of throat scratchy or itchy, and you feel like you're breathing really, really fast, or you can't breathe at all because of the pollen that has fallen. However, things are starting to grow grow so beautifully they are. The flowers and the plants, the trees and the leaves, the animals and the minerals are all doing their thing. So we have to take care of them so that they will be around for many, many more months, weeks, years, centuries to come. So do your part and I will do mine. You do yours and I'll do mine. Right? Right. So this is the perfect time to practice on our two promises while the weather is amazing. And we can do it when it's cold as well. But right now, when you see the ants and the spiders, the bees and the, the flies, the mosquitoes and the caterpillars, the snails, and the birds, the blue and red robins, when you see the crows or you see the squirrels, a deer or Go, when you go fishing and you see fish, um, spiders, ooh, and even the snake is big, oh my goodness. As it gets warmer and warmer and warmer, the 
animals, the plants, the insects, the bugs, all of those great, wonderful things like to come out and do their thing. So we will protect and we will develop understanding to protect them and the plants and the people and the animals and the minerals. So do your part and be smart and practice your vows. Okay, thank you. So today, since it's spring break, we always do something fun when we gather together at Children's Church, whether we're painting, whether we're planting, whether we're sewing, whether we're coloring, whether we're cooking, baking, or dancing and singing, or jump roping, or who could hula hoop the most or the longest. We always have a fun time. Whether we're breaking pinatas, y'all love that. I love it too. But we're just gonna have a celebration time. It's spring break, school is almost over. The pandemic is coming to um, a more manageable state where people have gotten their um, shots, which is called a vaccine. So they can be able to come around other people without masking up and not, wear, not have to worry about getting sick. A lot of things are happening. People are going out and, and doing things. And the country is opening up. People are flying, going out of the country. So we're just gonna celebrate that we have been together doing this for a while now but when my anniversary anniversary really comes up which is I think in May which is next month we're really gonna have a celebration we're gonna have party blues and we're just gonna have so much fun just having a great time enjoying each other I'm gonna have cake and I'm gonna give you some but you're gonna have to eat it virtually because it's gonna be at my house and you're gonna be at your house and I can't give you the cake but we're gonna do some great and wonderful things just to celebrate, just to be, you know, that we have been connected this whole time together and we have learned and grow, grew closer and we've learned so much more than we learned before because we've got a new way of doing things. We're outside of the box now. So let's just celebrate Let's just have a great and wonderful time together as I end. Oh my gosh, do you see that? What is going on? Oh my gosh, it's hitting me in my face. I don't know if you can see all the bubbles. Bubbles are everywhere. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. So if it's your month, if it's your birthday month, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hold on, hold on. Happy birthday! Is it your birthday? Happy birthday! 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 Woo! 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 You remember your books of the Bible? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First Samuel, Second Samuel, First King, Second King, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Psalms, Solomon. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I said them all right, but do you remember them? At least the first ones: Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. because there's bubbles everywhere. Oh my gosh, they just popped me in my face. It's, it's very messy. And the next time we do this, we definitely have to be outside because everything is wet. And my production crew, well, you know about my production crew. I don't even have to talk about them because I don't want, I don't even have a production crew. I am the production crew. I'm the camera girl. 
I'm the wardrobe, I'm the uh, tech person, I'm the props, uh, I'm just everything. I'm just I, just a one woman show, wondering where my lighting is, wondering if my things are centered, make sure the music is right, make sure I have all my notes of what I'm going to learn, what I'm going to teach. It's, it's, a, it's a hard job. But I love every minute of it that I get to spend time with you and we get to learn and love and grow together. So that being said, happy birthday, everybody whose birthday is in April. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I did say that I was my next video, the special guest that I forgot their names, Miss Emma. Did you see the koala bear, Miss Billy and Chris? And Miss Sandra Mack, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us out on our Easter egg extravaganza. You were amazing. You did a great job, and I appreciate that. And so everyone that I invited to help, I've already named them, and I thank them already. But, uh, you know, Sergeant Major, Miss Betty, Carly, Destiny, um, Brianna, Taylor, Michelle, Yasira, Jada, Joseph, JC, Miss Gail, Emma, Miss Emma, Sandra, Mac, Billy, Chris, the Koala, Caleb, Trinity, Joy, Dion, Jonathan, Courtney, and Sambo, Daniel Sambo. Um, the events on site, decorations, Stephanie Duell, Dole, and the Carja Yard. Oh, uh, Lord, I forgot their names. But they were amazing. Everybody did a great and wonderful job. Pastor D and Brandy, all of y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The duck was there. It wasn't Daphne. It was maybe Darla. Darla the duck. Because she was darling, wasn't she? No. But anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And with that being said, love lens, love lens, let me put my love lens on. Let me put them on. And who do I see? I see Anthony, Paul, and Eric, and Asia, Amanda, Brianna, Brianna, Bryn, Bassie, Bassie, Blake, and Brandon. Carly, Chloe, Carmani, Carter, Cameron, Carmen, Clark, Cortland, Destiny, Eco, Elijah, and Faith, Hazel, Hayden, Haley, Isabel, Isaiah, Jada, Jeffrey, Joseph, Lee, Journey, Justin, and Joy, the fruit of the Spirit, Malcolm, Mayan, Mia, and Mason, Maximus, Marshawn, Malia, Maverick, Messiah, Molly, Nias, Rebecca, Rico, Rollin, Sophia, and Scarlett, Trey, Trinity, Zakaria, Zachariah, Zoe, and Zion. I see you all in my love lens, and I love what I see. I miss you greatly. From Miss Stacy, that's me. Until next time, you matter, you are important. And the world would not be the same without you. And you are love. So mask up, wash your hands, and social distance. And do your part to be great. Because I know you guys are all amazing, wonderful, beautiful, and lovely. I love you. Goodbye. Until next time, we'll meet again. Same time, same place, same station. <laughs>